here we are at part um, 16 of my video walkthrough for Final Fantasy 4 and we made it to the town of Baron all right well I'm tired after all that so let's go check out the inn and see what's going on oh hey it's Yang it's me Cecil Cecil Baron's night turn trader seize him yes sir huh what Ah, oh, crap, it's guards. Yeah, these dudes suck. Um, they counterattack just about any type of attack that you can throw at them. So, yeah. <laughs> That's alright. I got tricks up my sleeve for him. Bile will make short work of him. And if we mute him, he won't be able to cast Piggy and Minnie and whatnot on us. So. You fail to realize my power! Ha 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 Oh good grief. I should have just bioed with Tella, I guess. <laughs> I was expecting it to take quite this long. There we go. Yang, what's wrong? You, insolent wretch. Oh no, we're fighting a monk! Alright, I like to... Aww, oh, she doesn't know haste. But she does have berserk. There we go, he knows haste. I like to go ahead and haste our monk friend here. Now what ends this fight is the attack that you do after he does his second kick, which is the reason why I hasted him to try and hurry up and get his stuff over with. But also as a little game I like to see just how much damage can I do to him before he does <laughs> before the story fight ends, because you can't actually kill him. He has too many hit points. Bio! Oh yeah. Die! Well, there's his first kick. Good gravy, Bio's a nice spell. I like it. Oh yes. Come on, Yang, how many hit points you got? Wish he had that many hit points when he was in our party. Good grief. Oh man, Tello's ran out of magic. Guess it doesn't take long. Kaya! All right, now this fight's over. So really, you could just sit there and do nothing, <laughs> except for the one attack, but... Cecil, what just happened? After Leviathan attacked us, I cannot remember anything. Obviously, you suffered a slight case of amnesia and were being used by Baron! Do you know what happened to Rydia and Edward? Rydia was swallowed by Leviathan. I don't know what happened to Edward. I see. Where are we? Baron, let's get a room to discuss everything. Yay! Yang has rejoined us! Thanks for taking care of those soldiers. You're more than welcome to spend a night here. Well, cool. We get a free in for our trouble. Yang, this is Tella. His daughter and Edward. My daughter loved him enough to... Sacrifice your life for him. I am sorry for your loss. I am Yang of Fubur. Ahem. <clears throat> 
I'm Palom of Mycidia. Hehe, <laughs> pretty good impersonation, huh? I am Palom of Mycidia. <laughs> Please don't mind him. I'm his twin sister, Porom. Hey, that kick really hurt. How could you let them play you like that? Palom, apologize. No, he is right. Forgive my actions. Well, first things first, we have to find Sid. Sneaking into the castle won't be easy. Hmm? What is this? This is the Baron Key, of course. They must have given it to you when they gave you command of... those guards. With this key, I believe we'll be able to find Sid. What luck! All right! And we're back to where we were on Mount Fabul. Only instead of Edward, we have Tella. Which I guess Tella is slightly more useful than Edward. I mean, Tella does know just about every spell in the game now, so... Alright, anyway. We can now access the weapon and armor shop in Baron now that we have the key. Alright! What kind of goodies are we going to find in here? Ooh! No treasure chest is too special or sacred for me. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> I want to buy a thunder rod and a bolt claw. Sounds like good stuff there. And they got some pretty nifty armor here. Got a nice lightweight martial arts type armor. So let's get like two headbands and a silver gauntlet, and two Kempos. Well, three Kempos, yeah. So one silver gauntlet, two headbands, and three Kempos. And let's uh, get ourselves stocked up here. All right, I want Yang to have the Bolt Claw and the Ice Claw. And give him his new gear for our area. Headband, Kempo armor, and silver gauntlet. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and give Palom switch out his ice rod for the thunder rod, which also has a plus three to wisdom, just like the fire rod does. So, awesomeness. Sell off some of the crap we don't need, and let's get on with it. This little door here underneath Sid's house leads to the barren waterways. Yeah, the enemies are pretty ho-hum in here, so I'm not going to go over too many fights, but I'll go over some of the ones I thought were cool. Alright, treasure, right off the bat. Ah! Yes, this is a lightning-themed dungeon, as if you couldn't guess from all the bolt equipment I was buying. So, yeah, bolt's going to be our friend. Uh, bolt 2 spells should wipe out the large majority of enemies in this place. And, yeah. <laughs> Pikes are old school. They died pretty quick. And then a couple bolt bolts from our two black mages should take care of just about most most things in here anyway. There are a few exceptions. Alright, here's a couple enemies we need to watch out for. The crocodile and the electfish. Now electfish would be weak to bolt except that since they're electric fish they absorb it. And crocodiles are pretty nasty. They do lots of damage but being weak to ice yanks, ice claw will just annihilate them. But, yeah, if you run across a group of electfish, you should use Bio, which I found is actually pretty handy. Bio's such a good spell. <laughs> and there you go. Yay! Alright, yeah, we get a bunch of twisty turny cavern, or corridors around here. If I can remember my way through here. Let's see, hourglass, got a silk web. And rolling up here, we get find a Hermes shoes. Alright. 